hey what is going on guys welcome back to the channel this video is the part three of the getting into airsoft series if you're new to, new to the channel and you don't know what that means then it's a series that i've created to help beginner players get into airsoft effectively and without spending a lot of money and this is the third video in the series if you haven't watched the other two make sure to go check out the playlist it's on the channel just click on the playlist tab and you should see a playlist called getting into airsoft and that is the one you want to click on and watch the first video and the second video and then you can watch this video uh, it's uh it builds on itself so make sure to watch the first two videos before you watch this one um, and also if you're thinking about getting into airsoft make sure to watch each video to the end i know that the second video especially is very very long but provides a lot of information that is crucial to really getting into airsoft the right way this whole series has been created to avoid the mistakes that I've done uh, in getting into airsofts to help you guys out. So make sure you go and check out those other two videos. So with that being said, this video is going to cover choosing your camo and choosing your base color. So let's get straight into the video. And if you guys are liking the footage right here in the barn, this is actually from a gameplay video that will be out soon. It's some South Georgia gameplay, so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe so you'll be able to get those that notification when the video is uploaded. With all that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so for this part of the video, we're gonna be looking on Amazon and Craigslist to find uh, just any sort of camo we can find that's for cheap and I'm just trying to find the cheapest stuff for you guys and if you go ahead and look up camo BDU on Amazon battle dress uniform is what it stands for you can find a bunch of stuff here's um here's a combat shirt with just normal pants looks like they've got ventilation on the knees maybe some reinforced knee padding that's pretty cool um, a lot of pockets that looks like a great a great thing all right so it's got arm pockets that's great reinforced elbow pads uh, adjustable cuffs then they give you a size chart right here and they'll show you exactly how to measure your own size and I think I think I'm pretty impressed with this one it comes in this comes in multicam. It says LCP, but that's just multicam right there. If you guys ever, ever wonder what something is, this isn't actually. Um, it doesn't say it's multicam because to actually tell you it's multicam and to sell it as multicam, it's gonna cost a lot more than just, um, let's say, small. I guess it's that's probably what I would buy. Fifty dollars. Mm, that's a that's a good bit but still not as much as you would be paying for a real set of multicam um, that you see like the national guard wearing or something like that so woodland would be what i would get you know 52 versus 50 wow so the woodland's actually cheaper and then you've got you got some more multicam this is actually the true multicam this stuff right here is like multicam arid uh, I don't know I don't know what multicam that is multicam arid or multicam tropic and it just doesn't have enough green to be tropic so I don't know but then you got just plain old black and then you got ACU so that's a nice selection of camo for um, you know $50 around that price range you're gonna get you know a good set of pants and a good combat shirt I have this exact same design combat shirt with the reinforced elbows and everything and I really like it it's a great um, it's, it's been a great shirt and so for the ACU multicam and multicam tropic I, I don't know that maybe that's multicam arid and this is just normal multicam that's it. I'm looking up. I'm gonna figure out what what camo it is. I guess. Let's see here. Alright, 
say so multicam arid see multicam tropic that is totally different than what we've seen there multicam arid is almost like a, a really light camo almost like a desert camo and then they've just got the standard multicam which is it would be this one right here this is normal multicam and then you got multicam arid multicam tropic multicam alpine multicam black and that's it huh well i guess they're trying to make it into a multicam tropic but that's that's not a multicam tropic that's a, it's like a multicam woodland almost but anyway so for the normal multicam and everything this one's definitely just that uh, that one's definitely the multicam so you got multicam you got acu you got woodland and you got this multicam this light multicam tropic or multicam woodland color so i'll have this linked in the description i still think we can do better and find something for less than 50 dollars for pants and uh, shirt or pants and a coat so that was a good idea of a summer um, a summer attire but if you want something like a BDU shirt for the winter time like a coat like this this is what I use in the winter time not this exact brand but you can get it in um, Woodland Digital you got oh you got Tiger Stripe that's cool wow how much is that because I I'd like to get some Tiger Stripe camo so huh yeah 30, 36 dollars that's, that's, not, that's not, i don't know that's that's not bad um especially for a rare camera like that that's that's pretty cool so this one and this one i like enough i think i'll have this linked in the description um what do they say this is midnight did yeah so this is midnight camo so midnight digital you got um, woodland digital you got normal woodland uh, you got tiger stripe you have acu and then you've got, got desert digital so you've got a lot of digitals so i think this is a definitely a really cool um and this is rot rothko um i'm pretty sure my booty has that exact same brand so and the quality from what i can tell it's pretty good and their ratings are phenomenal very good ratings so um definitely going to link that one in the description this one and then we're going to check out if you want to get you know standard proper men's bdu so this is just a standard proper bdus and you got your woodlands you got tiger stripe and you got this kind of like a I don't know, like a really, really, um, a field camo almost. Except, what's the deal with the tiger stripe and all of this? Why, why is there, why is there two tiger stripes? Asian tiger stripe? Tiger stripe, okay, whatever. So, then they give you the sizes. So, this is, this is pretty good. Um, I don't know, what, what size would I be? Be okay so you got the tiger stripe and you got that that field camo and you also have the woodland so this is this is good for thirty dollars you can get a pair of pants but then again for um so for thirty dollars and then what did we what did we see up here yeah so still you you pay for the um so you pay for the the name proper for the for the brand you pay pay for the brand name for those and so if you want to match brands you can get the bdu coat and the bdu pants uh see what what choices they have for here you got uh, woodland uh, Woody green tiger stripe uh, you got that field camo. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a this is an Austrian camo. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what the Austrian military uses. But I'm, I don't know. So 
you know, for about 60 bucks, you can get some high quality name brand camo, or you can get the $50 for the just, you know, no name brand reinforced um, pants and combat shirt. So what I would recommend doing is before you jump in and buy, you know, a combo like this, go ahead and if you have camo already, like if you have a specific type of military camo, such as, you know, woodland or desert or multicam, desert digital, any sort of set military camos, build from there. So say you say you have um, just like a, a, a woodland um, jacket and what you would do is you just go and buy the cheapest um, buy the cheapest woodland pants out there now if you want to get some good ones you can get ones with reinforced knees but what i saw over here if you're gonna be buying pants what i wish that i had done is bought some with knee pads because those are really great for when you're kneeling down and they do not come in woodland but they come in multicam and i bet they're going to be expensive because that's normally what they're because knee pads and combat pants like this are going to be pretty expensive so yep they're very good quality it looks like and they're also 60 bucks so for the amount of money you spend to get one pair of combat pants that are really great quality you could have bought a whole set of BDUs so let's just keep going down and try to find some some good some good BDU pants that are really worth worth spending your money on and I, and I really want to find something that's like forty dollars for for a whole set so surf Amazon pretty much the gist of all this is is surf Amazon and oh my gosh look at that the dude doesn't he has hands but he ain't got a head that's that's pretty hilarious they just, they just photoshop some hands in there for him <laughs> bro that is so creepy looking okay so this is like just a russian russian military BDU, BDU uniform so what's this u.s army got black ACU that other camo black and oh yeah that weird like experimental camo that they're working on so yeah multicam and yep this is gonna be pretty pretty expensive so yeah 70 you're gonna be paying a lot of money for multicam and that's just how it goes Multicam's expensive and it's you know you're better off going to a thrift store and finding some multicam but really from what i'm seeing is you might be able to get forty dollars a whole set on here but honestly if you want some uh, full set of military camo and you don't have anything to build off of um, you know figure out which camo is best for you and once you know the exact camo you want just surf the surf amazon and craigslist and try to figure it out we're going to be heading on craigslist right now so that's that's really my suggestion is figure out what camo you like and try to find it at the cheapest price so let's go ahead on find craigslist and we're going to search airsoft first just to figure out what uh, what did it put yeah housing housing Oh, for sale okay all right so okay newest okay here we go this is the one that i've seen so you got you got acu so an acu combat sure it looks pretty pretty worn but also you know it's a good decent quality so yeah so if you want a acu shirt with you know uh, a vest and all this other stuff or oh, wait does he sell it at all for $25 okay yeah so everything for $25 and it gives you a bunch of um, wait Cumberland plate carrier is that, is that really what that is oh wow so he's actually selling 
Oh uh, wait, no, that's not a that's not a plate cure. That's just a oh wait, mesh vest vest and oh wait, oh it's yeah, sold. Okay, so knee pads. You know, you get your ACU combat shirt. It's a medium. Oh, he dyed it green. Well, okay, whatever. Um, and then you get your uh, vest. Uh, I, I don't really like vests, but you know, maybe maybe that's your thing. Uh, M4 parts, a sling. Where's the M4 mag? I, I didn't see an M4 mag. Huh. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Speed loader. So you got you got some good airsoft gear there for twenty five dollars. It's it's a good it's a good price. Let's see if there's anything else. No. Nope. So that's about it. Let's look for camo. Okay. So you got your got your jacket, just a normal all ACU jacket. You can find those pretty easily at thrift stores. Um, I actually have one, but I I don't have any pants to match with it, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be running it um, or not. But that would be cool to get some pants to go with it as like a winter a winter loadout. Um, camo that would be pretty cool um, so 10 bucks right there already well below the prices that we saw on Amazon so if you're dedicated enough to just look on here and figure out what you see see right there $25 for multicam pants that's a good price are they oh each yep so you know that's that's much cheaper than what we saw on Amazon and no tears and stains that's great there definitely will be stains after you're done with them playing airsoft but as long as there's no tears that's really good so oh good grief can't even load in a decent image so oh it looks like they've got they've got some some good good lots of pockets um so definitely craigslist is the way to go and really used is the way to go to find what you're looking for for the best price um, when it comes to camo and stuff like that so step one is to find your camo that you like you gotta find out what what camo pattern you like and I'm just gonna go ahead and you know list them all out here uh, if you uh, woodland is really what what I chose because to start out with at least because it's just a really um, common camo and I liked it and you know it's it's easy to find if you're looking for like a Vietnam era like me uh, your dream is probably to get tiger stripe I would love to get some of that and I am actually gonna try to hard to find some but um, otherwise but you know for when you first buy your camo you don't want to go with something super expensive or rare like that uh, but it's it's so cool it's what the special forces used in Vietnam and that's like exactly what I would want but um, don't go for any specialty camo like that uh, certainly no uh, multicam different colors of multicam I mean if you can find them that's great but don't go spending a hundred dollars on your first set of camo when you're just beginning playing airsoft um, of course I recommended in the first video for getting into airsoft just go pick up some random camo from the thrift store you can probably find some mixed mismatched camo and you'll be able to find some it's not going to be like great but it'll be it'll be worth your money and it'll be better than going and spending a bunch of money for uh, for expensive camo that you don't even know if you're gonna you know be playing airsoft for that long so definitely um try to find camo that's used and just you know go with the basics go with you know desert or desert digital woodland or woodland digital uh, multicam if you can find it um, not don't try to go with any other the other um, uh, camos like the multicam arid or tropic or alpine or black um, those are all awesome camos I bet the alpine looks really great in the winter time and it works but it works really well too so uh, yeah so just overall um, stick with the 
you know, general camo patterns. And I was, I'm surprised at what you can find on, find on Craigslist. I was, I did not think that you could find these good, this good deals for camo on here. Yeah. Definitely try to find it on Craigslist or in thrift stores and that is the way to go so now that you guys know how to find camo and how to choose your camo and you know what what camo you need to look out for um we're gonna go ahead and go on to explaining something called base color and it's was something that i created as a alternate buying option for your camo patterns so say you want to buy a plate carrier or a chest rig um, i'm going to be covering uh, how to buy those and what all goes into them in the next video for getting into airsoft that'll be the part four video so if you're if you're buying a plate carrier you want to get the plate carrier or chest rig or boots in a certain color that won't matter uh, whether you're wearing ACU or multicam or woodland or desert um, it, it won't matter because as long as it's a um, solid color and there's three main colors three main solid colors that you need to choose from black OD green and tan and the tan can be you know dark tan it can be you know coyote brown it can be whatever any sort of tan but you gotta choose from those three now if you're into you know uh swat team stuff you might want to pick black and get a black plate carrier because that'll just be coherent you can wear it over acu or multicam or woodland or desert it doesn't matter um, same with od green which is what i chose i like od green because it's you know it's what they wore in vietnam and i really like that so i chose od green for my plate carrier um my chest rig is woodland because um it was given to me and i obviously couldn't choose the uh, uh the camo pattern on that but i really like that as well and so just really choose like um choosing your base color is an important thing that i think not many people think about because maybe maybe you find a camo uh plate carrier say you like desert you find a desert camo plate carrier that is affordable and you buy it but you want to choose something for the summertime a desert camo plate carrier is not gonna look good over all of those and it's still gonna stand out even if you're wearing woodland with desert you're still gonna stand out in the woods because that light tone is gonna show through the bushes and things so really a base color for plate carriers helmets boots um, knee pads um, you know uh, attachments for your plate carriers such as radio pouches uh, p um, pistol mag pouches um, magazine other rifle magazine pouches any sort of pouches or things on your plate carrier uh, all need to be solid colors because you know you're you're gonna want to it's it's an expensive item after you get your plate carrier and your chest rig built well you're gonna need to be able to move those around through all your camos now right now as you're playing airsoft you're not gonna have more than you know one set of camo right now but as we as you get better and you want to expand you know oh uh, maybe i want some summertime camo and a wintertime camo well you, now you have to have your uh, plate carrier and chest rig to be coherent with both now you can get a little bit custom with the uh, chest rig because if you as long as you pick some a camo pattern with some green in it or uh, something like that that you're not going to be wearing desert in the um, summertime anyway so uh, you can pick a darker color camo for that but honestly the safest pattern the safest way to go is to choose a, a solid color black OD green or tan and stick with that with your helmet um, not your helmet wrap because those can be different camo and you can buy those those are cheap you can get them for uh, whatever camo pattern you're using but um, helmet plate carrier 
chest rig, knee pads, boots. Now for boots, you're probably gonna just go with the normal US Marine tan, and that'll be fine throughout whatever environment. But you get the idea, any sort of attachments to your plate carrier or chest rig, you're gonna want to be a solid color. So now with all of that being said, what you're going to need to do in this stage and in this part of the video is figure out what camo you like a simple camo uh, whether it be multi-cam or woodland or desert and you can go you know a little bit custom if you like the desert digital look or something really try to find out what's your favorite camo which what um loadout are you really want to go for and this is where you can really be extremely custom with your loadouts. Um, I've listed a bunch of just US military loadouts, but maybe you wanna go for a, um, a Japanese military or an Australian military or a German military, Austrian military loadout, whatever you wanna do, um, pick the camo that you want as your favorite and keep that in mind as you're looking for it. But a lot of times your favorite camo is gonna be an expensive camo and something that you will not want to buy as your first camo so i'm trying to pick a camo close to it that's cheap and affordable that you can find in thrift stores or on craigslist or even on amazon if you can find it for cheap and make sure to buy a set of pants and a shirt for that i recommend getting a combat jacket and later getting a combat shirt just so you can feel what other soldiers felt when they we're wearing just normal jackets because a lot of times in if you watch the movie black hawk down or in any vietnam movie they're not going to have combat shirts they're not going to have any of that stuff on because it's it was not invented back then they were wearing just normal jackets and it's a good it's a good thing that i i feel to just ha out of respect for our military that's that's really what i what i did and um what i do recommend for other people to do is just you know get out there and sweat and it's going to be hot but that's that's really the fun of airsoft is just pushing yourself and um just having a great time so i recommend buying a combat jacket first and then you can go on to buying a combat shirt but other than other than that that's just my personal preference you guys do what you want but it's all about having fun in airsoft and that's really what all these videos that i'm making are for just giving you guys um, useful information to get into airsoft and without spending uh, an excessive amount of money and just an effective way of getting into airsoft so that's pretty much it for the video guys make sure to choose and buy your camo choose your base color and stay tuned for the everything you need to know about plate carriers and chest rigs video that will be the next video the part four video in the getting into airsoft series that'll be up soon i'm really going to try to get that one up as fast as i can and that is where you can really uh, use the information that i just gave you with base colors and using your chosen base color and buying your first plate carrier so i hope this video is helpful if it was make sure to hit that like button really helps out my channel also if you are not a subscriber consider subscribing and make sure to turn on the post notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time